Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to install Halo Online, also known as El Dorito 0.5. So to actually install this game, you're going to need these three files here. The first file is Halo.zip, that's the main game files. The second one is this Halo Online search, uh, it's got a strange name. This is the newest version of Halo Online, we're not actually going to play this, this is just being used for the extra map files and things, but you will need it. And the third one is the 0.5 installer. That'll grab the files from this and install it into this. So to get started, you're going to want to download all three of these files. I have links to them in the description. The first link in the description should lead you to this web page here. It is a Reddit link. It is titled 0.5.0. And the links you will want are right here under requirements. So official Russian online uh, beta, all that good stuff is right there. That would be this file here, Halo Online Cert MS30. The next file you'd want is right below that, El Dorito 0.5 installer. That is this file right here, so that's two out of three already. And if you click the second link in the description, it should be a PDF that looks like this, and it should say Getting Started with El Dorito. Now, you're actually going to need to torrent the main Halo files right now. Hopefully there will be a better link up in the future, but for now you will have to torrent the main game. There is another tutorial for how to torrent, uh, just search it up somewhere, YouTube, uh, torrenting really isn't difficult, but uh, use this link to torrent the game and that will give you uh, all three files. Now once you have all three of them, you're gonna want to make life easier on yourself. Make a folder somewhere called El Dorito. Uh, I'm just going to drag this over here. Now, the first step you're going to want to take is to open Halo.zip. Inside Halo.zip, shouldn't be called Halo R, I've actually renamed mine, so just go inside here, get to the point where you can see all these files, and drag all of them into your El Dorito folder. Now, this will take a minute because this file is about 2 gigabytes in size, which is fairly large, but just give it a moment and it will complete. Alright, all of the files have been extracted into there, so if we go and look inside our El Dorito folder, you'll see we have uh, the core game files. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is drag the files from the Halo Online cert into another folder somewhere. I've called it extra files just because that's really what it is. So inside the Halo Online cert, you take all of these, drag them right in. Wait a minute, just like we did for the other one, there's quite a few files here. Alright, all of the files for this uh, official cert version have been extracted into the extra files folder right here. Took a little while, but now it's done. We can see all of them in there. So the final step we're going to want to take is to drag the update installer, which we have right here, the exe. Let's open up our El Dorito folder, not the extra files folder, keep that in mind. Uh, this is where we will actually install the game. So, we're going to drag the updater inside El Dorito's folder. And we're going to double click it. So, first things first, we have to specify where the extra files are. So, we need to tell it this for the first one. This is the 12.1.7 blah blah blah. So, it is under... Uh, is my desktop here? Here we go. It should be right here. Extra files. Just find your folder. Hit OK. So the extra files have been selected. And now we need to show it where the main El Dorito directory is, which is right here. So that should be fairly clear. And now just hit verify and install. Now, this is going to take some time. It's going to copy a lot of files over. It's going to patch your game up, make it all nice. And, uh, It'll take a little while, but once it's done, you essentially have the entire El Dorito game. Alright, it looks like the installation for 0.5.0 has completed, so we can just close out of this. And inside our El Dorito folder, we have everything we need. Now, we can actually get rid of the extra files, however, in case your installation breaks at some point, I would keep a backup of it handy somewhere, so I'll just leave mine here for now. If you want to actually launch your game, just double click Dorito Updater right here. And when you want to play the game, just hit play game. There's some nice customization options and settings you can adjust, 
but uh, I'm sure you want to jump right in and play some Sand Trap. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.